Hello, welcome to Emotional Badass, where Moxie meets mindful. I'm Nikki Eisenhower, life coach and psychotherapist, and your host. And on today's episode, I am sharing a sensory meditation, exhaling exhaustion, inhaling vibrancy. So this episode is going to be a little bit of an experiment for me, and I'm going to ask some questions about it in a poll at patreon.com backslash emotional badass. And let me tell you a little bit about my meditation strategy. I like different types of meditation for different things. I did a meditation last year as an episode that really talked about inhaling and exhaling, and we inhaled one word and we exhaled another word. There's something to be said about being able to focus on the simplicity of one phrase and flow and meditate on that one phrase. It's focused, it's clear, it's simple. Now, sometimes in meditation, energies that I'm trying to embody for my students of meditation might be in growing some muscles to be able to shift. So sometimes we're focusing on focusing and staying in one place on one concept. And other times we are developing the muscles to be able to shift emotionally and shift internally. When I'm creating a meditation with that in mind, I'm not going to use the same word or the same phrase. So I'm going to use some very different, varied phrasing today. And what that might do for you is teach you how to shift and help give you a tool to practice shifting, which can also help manifest as more spontaneity in your everyday life. And what we know about childhood trauma survivors is sometimes spontaneity is very scary and there's a lot of shutdown around being spontaneous. There's a lot of control issues that spontaneity challenges. Spontaneity is also about having a certain level of comfort with the unknown. So as you melt into my voice and this meditation, we're practicing today shifting, trusting that you can handle what's to come, stepping into the unknown in a safe, measured way, and practicing those muscles that can result in more spontaneity more flexibility, and more flow. Now on the Patreon, I'm gonna ask some things when this episode comes out to help me craft and create some future meditations. If you haven't already, you may want to go back and listen to the episode I did on losing your mojo and fatigue. This episode will help with fatigue. So as we're ready to meditate, I invite you to get all your wiggles out. Maybe wiggle your toes, shake out the legs, maybe even a little bit of horsey lips. And begin to settle wherever you are. Maybe that's on the floor. Maybe it's in a chair. Maybe you're laying down. Find a space where you can center and get still. And as we settle, eyes closed, inhaling gently, and exhaling gently. Let go of any tension in the jaw. Let go of any tension behind the eyes. Let 
let go of any tension in the belly and the glutes and soften. Now begin to think of something that has you exhausted. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a career. Maybe you're the mama or the daddy of a sweet yet exhausting toddler. Maybe you're tired with your healing and how much it takes. Maybe you're exhausted by paperwork or commuting. If your exhaustion was a color, what color, what shape? might your exhaustion be? What does it feel like to be bone tired? Maybe it feels like floating in the ocean with waves taking you wherever they please. Maybe you felt like a wet noodle, shapeless, flat, backbone-less, Maybe exhaustion feels burnt like a piece of toast, overdone, dry, and brittle, easy to snap. Maybe exhaustion is being so cried out that you're too tired to shed one more tear and feel flat, emotionless. Maybe your heart's heavy in your exhaustion. Maybe it's weighed down by being aware of hatefulness in the world. Maybe your heart's sore and knotted up like a torn muscle, hurt from being pulled in different directions. There are points in life when we are tired, fatigued, and weary. Take a deep breath into this acknowledgement. It's okay to find ourselves in moments of fatigue and weariness. It's part of the natural consequence of being alive. It's part of the natural consequence of being alive in a modern, fast-paced society. So, breathing in and breathing out. Acknowledging the ways that I am fatigued, I breathe in energy. And begin to consider that on each in-breath, energy comes into the body with the in-breath. Out. 
I see the color of my exhaustion and I see its shape. With each exhale, my exhaustion loses color and the shape shrinks in size. I inhale positive, buzzing energy, like sweet bees buzzing on by, finding their way to flowers, buzzing, buzzing on the in-breath. Inhale a rich, strong breath, filling up the lungs a little bit more. Allow the breath to shake loose any bits of exhaustion that are rattling around in the lungs and in each cell of your body. On an exhale, let go of exhaustion, seeing the color of your exhaustion leave the body on the exhale. Inhaling a spirited, lively breath while smiling, lift the corners of your mouth. Continue inhaling. Bright strength, rich, strong in-breaths and rich, strong out-breaths that release fatigue and sluggishness. Inhale sparkly, bubbly, light air, air that feels like champagne or sparkling water. Feel a fizziness enter the body through the lungs, waking up each and every cell. Feel the cells of your body on your next in-breath start to get a little zippier, a little zestier, a little spicier. Like every cell of your body just had a little shot of espresso. Inhale a wide awake breath, opening the mouth wide, inhaling. And exhaling with a wide mouth enjoying the difference and feeling to breathe in such a new and alive different way inhale a snappy pulsing light that's alive it's a bright light a white light that washes out the color of your fatigue fatigue losing its color and losing its shape shrinking and shrinking and shrinking with each inhalation and each exhalation. Inhale aliveness into every cell of the body. Inhale a positive buzzing energy just like sweet bees buzzing to find flowers. Inhale enthusiastically, sending breath to every cell of your body from the tips of your toes to the tips of your scalp. Exhaling any slow, lethargic, slothful energy. Inhaling excitement for life. Inhaling a liveliness that buzzes, that pushes out stagnant energy on the outbreath. And inhales wide awake, sparkly, crisp, clear morning air. 
You are energized and you are vibrant. I am energized and I am vibrant. Continue inhaling. Continue exhaling. See yourself as vibrant. Spread the toes and spread the fingers. Lift the eyes and smile. Permission for vibrancy comes from you. Inhale bright white light. Replace the color of your exhaustion and the shape of exhaustion with bright white light. Releasing exhaustion, turning it into energy. Letting go of lethargy. Encouraging aliveness. Encouraging okayness for the ebb and flow. When we sink into low energy, we can shift into high. I am strong and I am pulsing and I am alive. Breathe into this idea. What is the shape? of your vibrancy. What is the color? On an in-breath, expand your vibrancy. Allow the color and shape of your vibrancy to fill the body. to fill the brain and the heart and the belly and the pelvis and the legs and the toes and the fingers and your smile. I am a vibrant being. I rest and then I energize. Breathe into this new way of being. Before we end, take one more breath into gratitude for who you are, that every moment of your life brought you to this very moment, that you have the power to let go of everything that doesn't serve you and move forward and towards what does. Take one more full, deep body breath. Wiggle your fingers and your toes, bring your movement back to the body, bring your consciousness back to your space. And when you're ready, gently flutter your eyes open, coming back to your day. Thank you for meditating with me today. If you are interested in finding some of our stripped down meditations from season one, you can find those on our website, emotionalbadass.com. 
backslash store. Those have been created for you there to strip away all intro music, all of my explanation, and to be nothing but pure meditation so that you can download them and hone your practice your way without any distraction. Light and love and take care of yourselves. Happy meditating, y'all. Till next time, I'm an emotional badass. You're an emotional badass, and together, we are where Moxie meets Mindful. Bye-bye.